Hey there, Patriots. Welcome back to Front Lines. This is Death Watch here to give you guys more intel so you can update your personal armory and fight back against the fake news media machine. And today we're going to be talking more about the response to House Bill 1557, aka the Anti-Child Grooming Bill, because for some reason, it seems that when it comes to primary school children, right, primary school in America is considered between kindergarten and fifth grade. Ron DeSantis, however, he made his um, bill between, uh, I believe, kindergarten and third or fourth grade. But still, that is still the between the ages of six to 12, right? From kindergarten to fifth grade is anywhere between five and 12. First, uh, you know, kindergarten to third grade, that's like nine, nine, ten years old, right? It's the is the hard cap. So why leftists, why these teachers are find that it's more important to teach these underage children about sex and sexuality than actual reading, writing, right? Because our reading and math are pretty much our reading literacy here in America is garbage. It's in the trash. Uh math and science skills are also in the trash. But you know, hey, to these leftists, to these teachers, they think that teaching a bunch of 12 and younger about sexuality, uh, sex, sexual identification, all this other crap is far more important. You know, it, it's probably because they're all groomers trying to have relationships with children, in my opinion, right? But uh, we're going to talk more specifically about Walt Disney because Walt Disney for employees uh, got caught up in a child, uh, a human trafficking sting, which one of them were, was charged with trying to diddle a child, right? And so, from bounding in the comments, multiple Disney employees arrested as part of a Polk County prostitution and human trafficking sting. The Polk County Sheriff's Office announced they arrested 108 people during a six-day human trafficking campaign titled Operation March Sadness 2. Among those arrested were multiple employees of the Walt Disney Company and or their subsidiaries, right? And so here is the picture of all these people, right? And I know some lefties will be like, oh my goodness, you're doxing them. You're doxing people, right? Because, you know, I had in my last video um, that I did about uh, any no, uh, what was it? it was like that furry who went, who was at the... Um, in Portland that shot some people, some guy who claims to be from, you know, well, I can't, I don't know what gender they are, but some person, um, they claim, you know, that, Hey, I'm out of, I'm out of the USA. I don't live, you know, in the U S but any no is literally coordinating with white supremacist police officers and all these other people. He goes out and he doxes these Antifa people. And then the white supremacist police officers and, you know, ground troops go out and they kill people. Right on behalf of any no or whatever, right? And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt because in probably in your country, right? He, they, I believe they said like in their country that's how it happens. And I'm like, sure, okay, sure. Um, I don't know what country you're from, but in our country, in my country, that's not true. Uh, that, he doesn't dox people. If you're an idiot that goes out and burns buildings and gets arrested, guess what? You will have a mugshot of yourself put out there by the police because i work at a local news station that's what happens okay when we hear that a shooting happened or some type of crime happened and somebody was arrested guess what the police will have pictures of them they'll have their mugshot they have some type of identification for these people and they will give it out to the local news stations right they'll that's public information for people to know right you can pull up any if anybody uh gets arrested that's on a national registry, right? All these people right here who got arrested for human trafficking, you know, trying to uh, seek out a prostitute will most likely get put on a sex offender registry, right? That's a national sex offender registry that's public to, the, to you know, every, all these people's faces will be there after, you know, even after they get done with their jail sentence, they will be put on their re that registry. Everybody can look it up. If they try to get in a job anywhere, that will be put up, you know, it, they'll definitely get flagged for, hey, these people are on registries that you may not want them to be there, right? Especially if you're a person trying to seek children, right? 
Uh, in some states, you know, if you live in a blue state, you know, they're trying to get rid of this law. But if you are a sex offender, you have to notify everybody in your local community that, hey, I am a, uh, you know, I'm on a national registry because I did this, right? You know, court, there's a court order that requires you to go out and tell people this, right? You cannot go so many feet from a playground, uh, so many, well, so many feet uh, close to a playground, a school, anything that houses ch young children, right? Uh, you know, so again, I don't know what country you come from, but hey, this is America. This is how we operate. If you go out and you do stupid shit, you get arrested for it. You have a, you'll guess what? That is a, you have a rep sheet. That rep sheet is available to every American. Sorry, that's just how it happens, right? This is how local news stations uh, get all their, you know, all the information from the recent mur burglaries and all this other crap. Andy No is not doxing people. He's literally just reposting other people's mug, you know, reposting mug shots that the local news stations got and they put it on their own uh, websites or, uh, you know, daily newscasts, like whatever, right? So, you know, sorry for that long tangent, but, you know, don't come to me saying that people are doxing people and a lot of these leftists like claim they're doxing. It's like, no, you get arrested. Guess what? The local new your local news station is most likely to be the first person to dox you. And after that, it's not doxy. It's just it's public knowledge, right? That's how our country works. You go out, you do stupid shit, you get arrested, your mugshot will be public knowledge for everybody to see. It's no longer doxing, right? Just because somebody identifies your mugshot with you, your radical Facebook page or Twitter page where you also post your own face, your own real name. That's not doxing. You basically just doxed yourself, and all we're doing is just saying, hey, that person that got arrested for being a radical Antifa member, guess what? They're, they were operating on their on this Twitter, saying that they're going to go out and do this stuff, and then they actually went out and did it, and now they got arrested for doing that stupid shit. So, hey, here's all the... It's not doxing, okay? There's clear difference between what doxing is and, and what's not, and I might make a video about it, but you know, I'm pretty sure people know what doxing is. It's just people being stupid trying to make stupid arguments to try to uh, claim victimhood or whatever. But back to this story. A press release from the Polk County Sheriff's Office detailed that the campaign saw detectives identify um, prostitutes who posted online advertisements, as well as the Johns who were seeking out the prostitutes via online communications with the intent to identify and free any victims who were being forced into the situation, into pretty much human trafficking, or any participating in the trafficking of victims. It also states detectives also identified and investigated adults who engaged in online uh, sexual charge communications with those believed uh, were children. Four men were arrested for preying on children online. Um, but this is the Disney employee here. So Sheriff Grady, Grady Jutt said that the arrest of human trafficking and four child predators alone makes this whole operation worthwhile. The online prostitution industry enables traffickers and victims uh, and victimizes those who are being trafficked. Our goal is to identify victims other than help and find and arrest those who are profiting uh, from the exploitation of human beings. John's uh, fueled the trafficking and victimization. Uh, blah, 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 blah. One of the individuals was Xavier Jackson, 27. Judd says he thought he was chatting with a 14 year old and he sent photos of himself doing things that are totally inappropriate. And then he added, oh, did I mention that he just happens to be a lifeguard at the Polynesian Resort for Disney? Y you think there's a few children around there? That's right. I didn't stutter. He was a lifeguard at the Polynesian Resort for Disney and was bragging about that, right? And guess what? If you are a sex offender, guess what? You can't go to any other parks, amusement parks, theme parks, nothing. Nothing that is family friendly. Any Nope. You can't go to any of that crap. So guess what? You just fucked yourself. You fucked up your life. Um, congratulations. So um, he said the guys weren't predators, but they were, okay. So he said, next, Judd would detail a number of other Disney employees arrested during the operation. He said these guys weren't predators, but they all have something in common with the last arrest, Xavier Jackson. They were they work for Disney. So you will have Wilkinson uh, Fideli. He's 24. He lives in Orlando. He thought he was coming for sex. He's been a Disney employee for four years, and he works at the Cosmic Restaurant in Tomorrowland, right? You see how they post name age where they you know the city where they live and everything else like where they work that's not doxing right you commit a crime all the information they will look at that and put it out there right the police officers 
gave these news outlets all this information and it's mostly you know the first people to know this is the local news station but like that person tried to claim that well the police officer you know the police officers have been infiltrated by white nationalists and all this other crap proud boy members and all this crap and so they're going around giving the information to any no and all these right-wing uh publications so they can put put that information out there and dox people it's like that's not how that works you do something stupid the police regardless of their uh political leanings will put all that information out there of you that's not doxing you went out there you did something stupid it's now you know you basically dox yourself by doing something criminal like uh i just case anybody else is you know that uh, just case that person returns to this video you know hopefully i'm explaining this stuff to you more clearly or to somebody else who doesn't live in america or has some weird conception about america or whatever right this is how it works, right? I don't know how to explain it further, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works in every other Western civilization, unless you live in a, in like in Mexico, where there's literally like cartel members within the police department or whatever. I don't know, like how they really explain that to people. Um, but uh, let's see, yeah, Wilkins Infidel, we read that. Uh, you know, worked four years and he works at the Cosmic restaurant in Tomorrowland, except now he is in county jail if he had hasn't made bond yet. Then there's Subham Mal Malavi, Malave. He's 27. He's a software developer for Disney. He's worried because he works on a work visa from India. He thought he was coming to have sex with two ladies. Surprise was again undercover detectives, right? He's probably just going to get deported. Uh, that's all he's probably going to happen to him. Lastly, he said, then there's Ralph Lassie. He's 45. He lives in Winter Garden. And he's an IT employee for Disney. Been there about four years and he's married. So I'm sure Disney's not pleased. I bet his wife's not pleased. Bet we're pleased that we are arrested. You know, we arrested him. He, he included, right? And so there you go. You know, these arrests come after Disney revealed they were publicly opposing an anti-grooming bill in the state of Florida that prevents instructions on gender identity and sexual orientation for students in kindergarten through the third grade. Right. So that's literally, again, you're four, you're, I mean, five and six through possibly nine and ten. OK, why that's so important to these Disney employees that children that young know about sex and sexuality um, is because they're, you know, they're trying to have relationships with children. Right. There's there's no you like there's no counterpoint to that. There's literally no argument against that. Why should we be teaching children that young about sex and sexuality instead of literacy, math, science, basic biology, life science, all this other crap, right? You can't make any argument uh, for, you know, for the teaching of sex to children, right? Why can't, you know, why not leave that up to their parents? Why is, why do you yourself feel like you should be the person to teach these children that? There is literally no argument, but... At the same time, Disney has now decided, well, in re retaliation to the anti, you know, anti grooming bill, um, we're going to include a gay relationship in the new Lightyear movie, right? Why, why is that important? Because again, to these people, putting sexuality in the face of children is a win for them because at the end of the day, these people are obsessed with children being sexually active or at least having knowledge of sex or sexual relations you know again like what what real argument can you make in favor uh you know of this crap uh, without you know without making yourself you know exposing yourself to be a uh a possible child diddler right there there is no argument right and it's probably gonna be this person probably gonna make this person uh gay Uh, that Pixar and Disney reportedly had cut a kid. So right, and then the report goes on to add that Dick, Pixar and Disney reportedly had to had cut a kiss between these two characters, but is now being restored. Uh, see, this new report from Variety claims that a source informed them that the film does feature a significant female character, Hawthorne, voiced by Uza Abada Aduba, who is in a meaningful relationship with another woman. So yeah, so it is this one. So for some reason, this character is gay and they're supposed to have a lesbian scene in the movie, which why, why does that mean anything? Because isn't this supposed to be about Buzz Lightyear, right? And I don't, I never, I might do a review 
Uh, well, not even like a review of the actual movie, but I might do a re- my thoughts about Lightyear. I don't, I, I don't like it. I, I like the old like cartoon, the Buzz Lightyear cartoon. Um, and I want my blue alien red. Right? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I didn't think about this before, but the chick that was in the Buzz Lightyear cartoon, she was a blue skin alien, but she was also a redhead, and now is she's also being replaced by a black. It's starting to make sense. I I, get, I said this in my last video. It it, it doesn't seem it, it seems intentional now. It it's it definitely starts to seem intentional that in the way that they're doing a lot of this crap. Okay, but at the end of the day, when you go, you know, a lot of these people again who are against the anti grooming bill seems to be teachers and and all these other despots of society. Who seem that you think that it's more important for your children to learn about sexuality instead of liter- literacy, right? Again, your children between the ages of six all the way up to possibly 10 years old, even further, fifth grade, you know, 12. Okay. Why are children that young? Why is it so important for children that young to learn about sexuality? It's not. Why can't we leave it up to their parents to teach them about it? Because, I mean, their parents were the ones to it that actually committed the act to create those children. So who, you know, shouldn't, wouldn't be more better to, for them to tell their children not to engage in those activities or to whether or not they want to tell their children about that. Right. Why do you feel like it's your duty to teach children that? Well, because you guys are indoctrinator and possibly child groomers who just want to have um, relationships with children. Right. There's, there's literally no counter argument to that. To my statement here uh without exposing yourself to be a despot okay so with all that being said like share subscribe uh click the notification bell down below so you can be notified whenever i make a video if you want uh and like always stay safe stay sane be vigilant and i'll see you patriots on the battlefield